Hello everyone, happy Friday. So I am back again with, guess who? Amani Taylor, my favorite baby. I mean, I love all my babies. And I say like, I can't really choose a favorite, but then it's like, you know, when you interact with certain babies that, okay, this is probably a favorite. And I have to say, this baby is definitely a favorite in my collection, an all-time favorite. I just love me some Amani Taylor. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are re returning, and already subscribed and supporting my channel. Welcome to the nursery as well. So um, before I go on into the video, let me say, please subscribe if you are new and you aren't subscribed yet. Please click the subscribe button right now so you don't forget. And also hit that notification bell so you'll know when I do future videos. Um, also follow us on Instagram because as I said, I do post pictures on my Instagram sometimes more often than I might pop a video up here on YouTube. So my Instagram link is always under my videos in the description. You can just click it and it'll take you over to my Instagram. Um, my Instagram is Erica's Precious Ones, just like my channel name. Okay, so we got that out of the way. So Amani Taylor, if you're new and seeing her for the first time, she is the Willow Awake sculpt by Claire Taylor Dolls. And she was poured into silicone, sculpted, let me say sculpted, molded, um, poured into silicone by Claire Taylor. So she is a Claire Taylor sculpt. And then this particular baby was sold as a blank kit. So then she was painted by artist Paula Briggs and her hair was rooted by Paula Briggs. So she, Amani, is what you would call um, from a kit edition. So there were three prototypes in this Willow Awake edition. The three prototypes are the ones just like Amani, same sculpt, but they were painted and hair rooted, everything all by Claire Taylor. So they are called the prototypes. And the prototypes are basically to show you what the dolls will look like once they're all painted. So for those who are interested in the, the Willow Awakes, once you saw the prototypes, then it'll show you how the doll is gonna look painted and you can tell if you like it or not. And then the sculptor, Claire Taylor, sold them in blank kits, meaning they had no hair, they had no paint. She does put the eyes in for you. Um, and then you have to have your own artist paint it and root the hair for you. Or if you want to do it yourself, then you can do, you know, paint and root your own baby's hair. So that's what the kit editions are. So little Amani here is from the kit edition of the Willow Awakes. And I just love, love, love her. So I've changed her diaper. She had on her little bib because she was having a little bit of milk. Amani always has to get a little milk before the video starts because then she, if she doesn't, she gets fussy. So she has on her diaper and I wanted to put her in a summery outfit. It was cool here, but now it's warm. So I figured we can try a summery outfit today. Those little bloomers, they're dark blue with this blue and white bow. And then it has this little um, butterfly sleeveless type of uh what would you call it i guess this is a little dress and it has like pleated ruffles at the top of the bodice and then this is like that eyelid kind of material all white little pleat in the back at the bottom and then it has two snaps back here to help you to get it on the baby it also has like a little built-in, made-in little slip under there. 
So she's going to put this on. And this is not a new outfit. This is actually Layla's. It's a zero to three months by Kat and Jack. And Layla wore it. I like it on Layla, but it was a little big. So I figured, okay, I'm going to try it on Amani. And also, look what I found, guys. I was looking for more white sandals for my baby girls. And I found some. And it has a nice, soft, little crib shoe type of bottom. The little toe out. I love the little, it looked like kind of a butterfly little uh, front of the sandal. But it, or a bow. Love it. And I love them so much, I had to get two pair. <laughs> so, this pair is bigger. It's a three to six month. And then this one is a zero to three month. If you can see, it's a little bit shorter. So, I wasn't sure if Imani would wear the three month or the three to six month. And just to give you an idea, these are the little ones that I always put on Layla that I love so much. It also has the little eyelet material similar with the little crib shoe bottom. I love these sandals. But let me just show you how small they are in comparison to these. So this is the three month of the new one I bought. So you can just see how short these are that Layla wears. I didn't realize how tiny these are. They are really, really a newborn or like a size zero sandal, which is hard to find in all white. So I got two pair of these, two different sizes, just in case Amani couldn't fit the three month. So I'm going to try the three month on Amani first. And actually, I have another pair of sandals I was going to show, but I don't have them over here. And I don't know. They might be in my bedroom. But I've been kind of doing like sandal hauls also. I've just been doing like all kind of collective hauls with certain stuff that I'm looking for. So sandals was definitely another thing that I was looking for. For my baby girls and i wanted white sandals and the right size and everything so when i seen those i had to grab them and make sure i had two pair just in case if i would have got home and say amani couldn't fit that three months i was like let me get a three to six months so i have two different sizes and also eventually i want to have a gabby gail um baby girl so I was like, maybe the Gabby Gale might need a bigger size. Because I know when I had my Gabby Gale girl before, I used to get her like size two sandals. And to me, the three to six month sandals look equal to it, like a size two. So I was like, if Imani can't fit the three to six months, I want to still have it. Just in case I have a baby that eventually that needs a bigger size while I could find that sandal. And it looked like they had just put those out because they actually had a lot of them. And they're by a child of mine, if I didn't say that. And I got them from Walmart. I couldn't believe it. And they had a, quite a bit of them that they had put out. So I think I must have gotten there right when they just had put those out. Because usually... If it's a sandal, especially a girl sandal, baby girl, and it's white, you be looking for the size. You can't usually find all of the sizes. <laughs> but they actually had all of the sizes. So I was like, I'm not taking no chances. Let me get two pair. So that's how I ended up with two of those. So she is definitely fitting this. I love to dress this baby too, as I've said over and over. She just fits her clothes so well. Her and her twin brother, Jackson, my little willow asleep boy. I love him as well. Um, I don't know. I just love all the babies I have right now. That's all I can say. It's like when I think about them, I can't say like, who's a favorite? I don't even know. Amani seems like a favorite of mine. I just love this baby so much. Um, and I, like I said, when I be shopping for stuff, I'm always like, she's the baby in my mind. <laughs> when I'm shopping for girl baby clothes, 
It's like I'm always picturing what I'm buying for her. Um, usually Layla was my favorite baby to dress. But it somehow now shifted to Amani. I still like to dress Layla. But lately, since I've had Amani, and I've had her since September last year, my birthday, 2020, she has just, like, stolen my heart, this baby. I love, love, love her. Um, and I'm always wanting to buy stuff for her. Always. And I love changing her. I love the way I can just buy, like, the, the zero to three month size for her. And she just fits it. You can buy from pretty much any store that has zero to three month size and she pretty much will fit it. And I think that's what it is that I love with her is that it's, it's just easier to shop for her and Jackson because they fit three months so well. Even with their shoes and stuff, their feet are a nice size. Um, so it's easier even to buy shoes for them. But I will say she can fit this. But she even has room in this three months, if you guys can see it. She has room in the back and room up here in the front. But they pretty much fit. Um, but one thing with the Willow Babies, because they have this one bald foot with those curl toes, if you can see it, this foot makes it a challenge sometimes with shoes. Because you got that little balled up foot, curled up toes, and then, so say with the sandal, those toes have to have enough space because it makes the foot a little bit wider because the toes are curled. So you have to make sure the foot is going to fit this foot in there because it, you know, it has, see them little curled up toes. So those toes are way back there because she got her little toes curled. But overall, I would say she fits the zero to three months pretty well. She doesn't need the, um, the three to six. This one would be too big. So I'm going to save these, I guess, for a bigger baby. And as I said, they're a child of mine. I cut the tag out of the one Amani's wearing because I don't know if the ink will rub onto the bottom of their foot. So I just cut the tag out of hers. But that is her little sandals and her little outfit. And it matches the outfit so good with the little eyelet material. Try to zoom in a little bit. So now I'm going to just put a little bow. Well, kind of one of her big bows on her hair. And it seemed like there was something else I wanted to mention in this video, but I can't remember. Oh, you know, I had a gift I was going to open in this video, and it's way in my room. Oh, God. Someone else sent me another gift, you guys, and I wanted to open it. Now I have to wait till I do another video because it's way in the back of my room. But this is one of the boxes I got with the last gifts I have. So, for now, I put my bows in here, my bow collection that I'm starting, my big bow collection, my headbands. I have small headbands to a whole bunch of them, but I didn't put those in here with these. These, are, This box, I just wanted, like, all of the bigger bows. So, I recently got this one. This is a huge, huge bow. I don't even know, like, could Amani wear that thing? I mean, do you see how massive? But I thought it was so pretty. I had to get it. This one is from Walmart um, by Wonder Nation, that brand they have. And I think it was only, like, $3, something like that. So that's a nice price. Then I recently ordered these with the pink, the rose, and the blush color, or mauve. Love those colors, and my babies have a lot of clothes with these colors. So I got those because I also have these, which is from the same company. So I decided to then go back and order the pink ones. Um, it says Beck and Jet as the company, but I believe I got these from Monica and Andy was the company I actually ordered these from. 
then um you guys know i had you know all of these with the different colors which i had shown or i did pictures of them on my instagram that's all of the different colors of those then i also have these I don't have as much as the, of these. And these cost way more, forget it. But I like the material. So I'm gonna put this one on her, cause it's white. Um, and then I have this one. It's like one of them little turban ball things. I don't know what you call it, turban. But I never let anyone wear this. Never let anybody wear that. I have to let somebody try that on or baby try it. And then I also recently ordered this one, and it's in that rust, I think they call it terracotta, some kind of color they call this, but I really love this color, so I had to have this one. But this one bow was $15. I forgot, I ordered it from Spearmint Love, $15 for this one bow, and I didn't realize it's a clip bow, which I don't particularly like clip bows, but I might use it. Or I'm going to try to put a headband on it, like um, put a band on it somehow and take the clip off. I have to see what I'm going to do with that. But for now, she's going to get that white one. So that's just my little bow collection I'm starting. And someone else, um, who is it? Dolly Love X3. She had showed her bows because she has a lot of bows she actually got me into collecting these big bows but she put up a little um like a something where you can hang your headbands on the big headbands like that and it's so neat in your nursery so you don't have to put them in a bin and they won't get all like crushed up i like how she has hers displayed in her nursery i have to figure out something to put my bows on eventually so I won't have to put them inside of the bin. But that is Amani with her big bow. She don't really need a pacifier. It's like the babies look so pretty. I love their lips and stuff. So sometimes I don't want them with a pacifier. But I do like pacifiers. So we'll get a picture with her with the pacifier. And then I probably will get one without the pacifier. But there she is, guys. And it's like, it took me so long to get to this particular willow, Awake. Um, she's everything that I wanted in my willow, Awake girl. And she has blue eyes, as you can see. That's her little mouth. It has lubricant on it at the moment. I need to clean it. But that is her mouth. I love the willow's open mouth where you can kind of see their little tongue in there and everything. It looks so real. But um, I had another willow awake girl before this one. And then I had another baby. I can't remember which baby. I think it was it my Tate. Somebody I had that I let go of. I think it was my Tate prototype because i wanted my willow so bad my willow girl so the first willow girl i got i love that one too her name was destiny but then when i seen this willow girl i was like oh my god she's everything i wanted in my willow girl but never did i think her mommy would like let go of her but she did. She knew how much I wanted her. She and she actually let me get her. I can't I still can't believe she let me get this baby cuz she loved her too. And so I ended up she got back my other willow girl Destiny and she let me get this one who is now my Amani, like my everything. I just love this baby. It's just crazy i have no regrets anybody i sold to get her she is this baby is just everything everything um but anyway that's just a little history on my girl here and i love doing videos with her i tell you if <laughs> it's like if i didn't have other babies but i do but a lot of times i will tend to gear my videos where i want to do them mostly with her 
honestly. But I'm like, no, I got to change some of the other babies too and get them returned too, you know. But I just love her. And she is just so soft. Like, every part of her wrinkles, her thighs wrinkle. I don't know if it'll show on camera. But any which way you move Amani. And, and you can just see how soft she is by the movement of her legs. She's super soft. She is my softest baby. And I love how she feels um, when you hold her and everything. I just love her. But yeah, this is my girl. And on top of that all, as I said, she looks just like my mother. So that could be also why I'm so drawn and connected to Amani. But anyway, let me get off of here. I don't want to make the video too long. So we'll see you in the next video. I will definitely bring a different baby back to change. And so enjoy the rest of your evening. Or it could be morning when you see this video. But thanks for watching and thanks for stopping by the nursery. We'll see you again st um, soon. Stay safe. Bye-bye.